Alrighty, let's take a look at something called complex hybrid cryptography. So this is something that's not covered in your books, but it is in the common body of knowledge. So let's see if we can dissect it and find a way to understand it. Real quick, let's review how SSL, TLS, and HTTPS works. This is what ISC squared calls hybrid cryptography. So the way TLS works is, let's go back to our good friends Alice and Bob. In order to exchange information securely, they need to use a symmetrical key, right? So Bob has to send Alice his public key, which is represented by this lockbox with a slot in the top. The idea is that anyone can protect a message using Bob's public key, and only he can open the box to view the contents using his private key. Now, as you know, these keys are just formulas that create ciphertext, but we're using the image of the lockbox to give you a crude idea of how the math actually works. So Alice will put her newly and randomly generated symmetric key inside the box and send it to Bob. She's basically encrypting the symmetric key using Bob's public key. She sends it to Bob, who can now decrypt it with his private key. Alice can now send those safely encrypted messages to Bob that nobody else can read unless they have those symmetric keys, right? So what is complex hybrid cryptography and how does it work? Well, complex hybrid cryptography can add proof of origin, integrity, and proof of delivery to the equation. Hybrid cryptography by itself only provides confidentiality of the message. So now let's take a look at how this actually works. So let's say Alice has a recipe. Her message is a recipe. So Alice encrypts her recipe with the symmetric key, but she doesn't send it yet. She wants to prove that it came from her, and she wants to make sure that Bob knows that nobody changed that recipe. So to do that, she runs the recipe through a hashing algorithm. Then she encrypts the hash with her private key and attaches it to the message. Now, this is basically a digital signature, which provides proof of origin and integrity. So she then sends the recipe to Bob, who will basically first use the symmetric key to unlock the recipe. Then he'll use Alice's public key to unlock the hash or to decrypt the hash. So if the public key works and it decrypts the hash, it proves that the message came from Alice. Next, Bob runs the same hash that Alice used on the recipe, and if the hashes both match, then the message has integrity, and that proves that it hasn't changed. So next, Bob takes his newly generated hash on the recipe, and he encrypts it with his private key. He then sends his hash along with a timestamp over to Alice, who then she will decrypt the hash using Bob's public key. When Alice compares the first hash that she sent with the decrypted hash from Bob, and if they match, then Alice has proof of delivery. This type of cryptography can be seen in PGP, which is pretty good privacy, and SMIME, or Secure Multipurpose Internet Mail Extension. So if you want to simplify this explanation, we could probably say that complex hybrid cryptography simply adds digital signatures on the sides of the sender and the receiver with an added timestamp from the receiver. The digital signatures provide integrity and proof of origin from the sender, and it provides proof of delivery from the receiver. So that's a simple way to look at it. This topic is not covered in any of the major three CISSP books, but it is in the common body of knowledge. So I can pretty much guarantee it will be on the exam in one form or another. We do have practice questions on this, and it's covered in the Super Study Guide available for free on our website. So I hope this lesson helped you to understand complex hybrid cryptography. You might need to watch it a few times and make sure you understand symmetric cryptography, asymmetric cryptography, and digital signatures if you're having a hard time with this. We have several other videos that cover those topics in detail, so be sure to check those out. Best of luck in your studies, and have a great day.